Hello YouTubers, this is a EAS3964 here. Um, per a user request, I'm going to be showing you how to load radar imagery into, uh, into AWIPS. So once you open your AWIPS system, uh, you're going to notice uh, you may have the panes available. You know, look at my uh, paint tutorial on how to get those. Um, but if you don't, it's fine. Um, so the first thing you want to do is switch to your WFO view, or weather forecast office. Uh, you'll know your uh, weather forecast office up here. So you see Cave D two D dash. I'm in the uh, IND Indianapolis weather forecast office or county warning area. So what you're going to do is one of two ways to do it. First, you might you will have a if you have the four panes on the side, you'll have a, a pane already centered to your uh, weather forecast office. You can right click that and bring it over. Or let's say you don't have that. Let's say you just got the one and it's just the map. You can come up here where it says CONUS and then go down to WFO and it'll bring it down to your uh, weather forecast office. So after that, uh, loading radar data is can be done in uh, one or two ways. Uh, the first way is uh, the way that uh, you have to do it on Windows. Um, on Windows you have to go through the product browser. So you click product browser and it'll open up this little pane you come over here to radar, drop the menu, it'll load, it'll query the radar data for uh, whatever you need, and find your uh, find your WSR 88D radar. To do that, uh, if you don't know the one you're looking for, you can come up here to maps and click WSR 88D station logs. Click that, it'll bring it up, and then you can zoom in and find one. You can also uh, switch the color if you want to. So change color. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this green, just so I can see them. So we've got the one called KIND, so we'll go over here and KIND will expand the menu and we'll find what we want to do, which we want to do reflectivity, so we'll expand that and we'll expand 0 0.5. You can just double click and give it some time because it might take a couple seconds to load and here it is. You've got to your, uh, you've got reflectivity data all loaded. And it is going to be a little, if you're using Unidata servers, it's going to be a little bit delayed, that's fine. Um, but that's how you load radar data from the product browser. The second method is to go through the radar menu. Now this menu isn't exactly available in Windows, so uh, for Windows you have to go through the product browser. However, in Linux, uh, you can do a few things. You can do the next ride display, which will open, excuse me, it'll open a, uh, the composite for the entire country, or whatever scale you're on, and it'll also load the next red display, which you can edit. Now, there's two things you can do. Uh, you can click the radar, and it will open a two-panel display, uh, complete with interstates, and it will open the reflectivity and, uh, velocity products, or, I guess I'm sure I want to close, or, let's say you don't want to do that, you can close the editor, and I'm going to go ahead and bring a new map. Or you can go through the radar menu, go, to, go down to next red stations, find what you're looking for, so IND, and then you have everything here. So we're going to go ahead and do Z for reflectivity, 0.5Z best res, and it will load your radar data. So that is how you load radar data into AWIPS. Uh, don't forget to... Uh, Keep practicing on your AWIP system. You'll get, uh, you'll learn, you'll learn the tips and tricks of the trade. Uh, there's really nothing major. Um, it's really just uh, learning, learning what works for you. That's, uh, that's all I got.